Today I'm with two members of Rebuilding Together QAC. And who am I here with today? I'm Larissa Thomas. I'm the president of the board of directors. And I'm Tanya Wright. I'm the executive director. So for people who may not know, what is Rebuilding Together? Well, we have the vision, we would like safe homes and communities for everybody, and our mission is repairing homes, revitalizing communities, and rebuilding lives. What kind of repairs do you do to the houses? It all depends on actually the need and what we're able to, to do, because it's free of cost. Um, so, you know, there, that is a process, but we have, um, if you look in some of, if they go on the website, they can see where we also, we've done a ramp, I guess, what, last year? Yes. Yeah. But we can do everything. Uh, and the house that we're currently looking at doesn't have heat in some of the rooms. Um, they need drywall repairs. It could be sagging floors. Again, there's a lot of people who have problems in bathrooms with either the floors have caved in or the ceiling uh, has rotted away. So it's a wide variety of repairs. Most of the per people we service are in the extremely low poverty level and they are mostly actually elderly people. Uh, about 75% of Rebuilding Together are elderly and about over 50% are disabled and they need help. So we are the organization that they can come to in the county who will do these repairs. We do them for free. There's no cost to them and uh, just to make their lives safer, happier and healthier. We actually have a 25 checkpoint list that it, for safe and healthy homes and we look at these and we try to just make sure that we are seeing things that maybe the homeowner hasn't seen that they need help with that could really make their lives easier wow. and safer. What do you guys need for Rebuilding Together? We need volunteers. We need people who want to help their neighbors in the community. Uh, we need people to apply. If they have some repairs that need to be done on their house, apply. Put in the applications. And finally, we do need them some money. We need donations to help fund the repairs. And sponsorships. So we also need sponsorships. Why should people volunteer or sponsor? People should volunteer because it is a way to help the people in your community. It's your neighbors. And we don't always realize, we, we take a look and there's so many things that need to be done across the world and we feel like we can't do anything about those circumstances. But these are people who are in our next community or they could be your next door neighbor and they need help and they can't do it on their own and it's not safe and it's not healthy and we are able with the volunteers we can go in and we can make the difference right here in Queen Anne's County and make somebody's life a lot easier. How can people uh, sponsor or, do or donate? If you would like to apply, donate or volunteer, you can email us. It's info at rtqac.org. The website is rebuildingtogetherqac.org. Our relaunch is April 29th. Oh, yeah. It is our National Rebuilding Day. So all across the nation, Rebuilding Together organizations all have events on that day and we're looking to have a couple going on in our county. And so that's gonna be really exciting to uh, be part of this national movement to help people.